What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to talk about time shift which is a must have life saving Linux application so let us get right into it. Alright, so TimeShift is a system restore tool for Linux. And in the best case scenario, you never need it, you never use it, you just create the snapshots and you don't need them ever. However, if something goes wrong, you will be very happy that TimeShift was running on your system all the time, creating snapshots on a regular basis. So in this video today, I just briefly want to introduce you to this tool in case you don't know it yet. Um, I myself have not needed it, but I know how important it will be if someday my system just doesn't work anymore. So to get time shift, you can just use your package manager on Debian based systems sudo apt install time shift and a lot of systems also have it pre installed. And then you can just open it, you will need to authenticate with the root password. And this is time shift. Now the first time you open time shift, it's not going to look like that it's going to look like this, you're going to be confronted with the settings, how do you want to make your uh, snapshots. And the first choice you have is is you can choose two different snapshot types. Now one is rsync, one is btrfs. If you don't care about the details, just go with rsync because btrfs only works if you have uh, a partition that is based on this file system because btrfs uses the btrfs file system, it utilizes built in features of that file system. So if you don't have that file system, it's not going to work. Also, it doesn't support as far as I understand it, uh, external hard drive, so you cannot uh, create the backups or snapshots backups is not the right word. Uh, the snapshots externally, you have to do it on the BTRFS file system. And yeah, basically, there are a lot of pros and cons. So rsync um, basically works like this, you have all the files that are necessary are copied once. And then every snapshot after that is just an incremental improvement. So the difference between the current snapshot or the current system uh, files and the last time is just incrementally added to the snapshot. Um, and uh, basically, rsync is also slower and BTRFS works instantly, but rsync can be used everywhere and rsync can also work with external hard drives. I don't want to talk too much about the details here. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not an expert in file systems or anything. If you know why you choose BTRFS, go with BTRFS, otherwise just go with rsync. Um, then what you can do, actually, I didn't want to get out of the settings here, you can decide where to, uh, to store these snapshots. So you can basically say in my case, it stores them on the same hard drive, the best case is probably or the best configuration is probably to have a, uh, an additional hard drive only for backups or only for snapshots um, in your computer, and to store the snapshots there. Because the idea is, if your hard drive fails, you can just restore it. Um, from the other hard drive. So you don't need to rely on this one hard drive. Um, then this is interesting. Now the schedule and the schedule is basically how often do you want to automatically create snapshots, you can do them daily, you can do them weekly, monthly, and you can also decide how many of them to keep. So for example, if I do daily snapshots, this means a snapshot is done every single day. And I keep the last five days. So I keep all the snapshots from the last five days. If I now say hourly and keep 10, this would make a snapshot every single hour. And the last 10 hours will be kept. And then also the same for weekly monthly, I can do one every month. And I can keep the last two months, something like this. In my case here, what I do is I just do daily snapshots, and I keep the last five. Um, users is not very interesting to me filters is very important, because you could theoretically use um, you could theoretically use time shift to create backups of all your files of basically all the documents, uh, and, and, you know, all the Excel files, all the CSV files, all the Python scripts, and so on. But that is not the purpose of time shift. The purpose of time shift is to store or to to basically back up all the relevant configuration files, system files, applications, so that when your system breaks because of an update, or because of a config change, you can just roll back to yesterday's version of your system. The problem is if you also back up all the documents and all the files and all the stuff on your desktop, you cannot go back and just um, go back to the config files, you have to go to the to the version that was to, to the whole backup of yesterday. So if your backup includes also forgetting about all the documents on your desktop, so basically reversing, um, or going back to the state of your desktop yesterday, you cannot just go back to the config files, you also have to lose all your progress with your files and documents and desktop and so on. So the idea is to just back up 
um, all the important system files. So in my case, it excludes the home directory entirely and also the root directory. So one thing that I want to mention here is if you want to figure out if you have a, what was the, uh, the acronym BTRFS here, um, you can just run df-t and you can see all your file systems and you can see their type. In my case, I don't have a BTRFS system uh, or partition. So in my case, it doesn't make sense to use that. Um, all right. So once you have set that up, uh, you can see it creates snapshots automatically and you have tags here. Basically, you have daily, monthly, and hourly, and so on, and you have other, which is manually. So you can just click on create and you can create a snapshot manually in addition to all the snapshots that are created automatically. And you can see I have the five snapshots of yesterday and the four days before that. And then I have one which is from earlier, which I created myself. It's not deleted. Of course, I can delete it myself. And I can also restore. I can just click on one and I can restore back to the state it was at this time. So yeah, this is ba basically all I wanted to show you here. It's just a very important tool because if you're someone who likes to play around with your system a lot to customize things to configure things, things might break and it's nice to just have these snapshots that you can always go back to. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.